The Enchanted Castle Once upon a time, there was a beautiful castle nestled deep in the heart of a mystical forest. It was a castle unlike any other, with towering turrets, sprawling gardens, and a moat filled with sparkling water. But this was no ordinary castle, for it was said to be enchanted, imbued with magical powers that no mortal could comprehend. Many brave knights and adventurers had tried to enter the castle, drawn in by its alluring beauty and mysterious aura. But none had ever returned, and the castle remained shrouded in mystery and legend. One day, a young maiden named Isabella was wandering through the forest when she stumbled upon the castle. She was immediately captivated by its grandeur, and she felt an inexplicable pull towards its gates. As she approached, she could hear the gentle whispers of the trees and the rustling of leaves, as if the forest itself was urging her forward. With a deep breath, Isabella pushed open the gates and stepped inside. As soon as she did, she was enveloped in a warm, comforting glow, as if the castle was welcoming her home. She explored the vast halls and corridors, marveling at the intricate tapestries and sparkling jewels that adorned the walls. But as she wandered deeper into the castle, she began to notice strange things. The doors would open and close on their own, and she could hear faint whispers coming from the shadows. She felt as if she was being watched, and a chill ran down her spine. Suddenly, she heard a voice calling out to her. It was a soft, melodic voice, like the sound of a babbling brook. Isabella followed the voice, climbing the stairs and winding her way through the castle. And finally, she came to a small room at the top of the tallest tower. Inside the room was a beautiful woman, with long golden hair and sparkling eyes. She was surrounded by shimmering light, and Isabella could feel a powerful energy emanating from her. The woman smiled at Isabella and beckoned her closer. Welcome, dear one, she said. I am the guardian of this castle, and I have been waiting for you. Isabella was taken aback by the woman's words. Me? She asked, her voice trembling. Yes, you, the woman replied. You have been chosen to help me break the enchantment that has trapped this castle for centuries. Isabella was both terrified and thrilled at the prospect. She had always dreamed of adventure, of being part of something larger than herself. And here, in this enchanted castle, she felt as if she had found her true purpose. The woman explained to Isabella that the castle had been cursed by an evil sorcerer many years ago, and that only a pure-hearted maiden could break the curse. Isabella listened intently, her heart pounding with excitement. The woman then handed Isabella a small golden key. This key will unlock the door to the secret chamber, where the sorcerer has hidden the enchanted gemstone that holds the power of the curse, she said. But be warned, dear one, the path will be treacherous, 
and many dangers await you. Isabella took the key and thanked the woman, determined to fulfill her quest. She set out into the castle once again, her heart filled with courage and determination. As she made her way through the twisting hallways and secret passages, Isabella encountered many obstacles. She had to solve puzzles, avoid traps, and fight off fierce monsters. But with each challenge, she grew stronger and more confident, fueled by her desire to break the curse and save the enchanted castle. Finally, she reached the secret chamber. She inserted the key into the lock and turned it, feeling a surge of power as the door creaked open. Isabella saw the gemstone in the center of the room, glowing with an eerie light. She approached it cautiously, feeling the weight of the enchantment upon her. She took a deep breath and reached out to touch the stone. But as soon as her fingers brushed against it, she felt a searing pain shoot through her body. The gemstone was too powerful, too overwhelming. She stumbled back, gasping for breath. Just then, she heard a voice behind her. It was the sorcerer, the one who had cast the curse upon the castle. He stood before her, a dark and menacing figure, his eyes burning with malice. You think you can break my curse? He sneered. You are nothing but a foolish mortal. But Isabella refused to be intimidated. She stood tall and faced the sorcerer, her eyes blazing with determination. I will not let your curse destroy this castle any longer, she declared. The sorcerer laughed, his voice echoing through the chamber. You are brave, I'll give you that, he said. But you are also naive. You cannot defeat me. Isabella took a step forward, her heart pounding. I will try, she said simply. And with that, the battle began. The sorcerer conjured up spells and incantations, hurling bolts of dark energy towards Isabella. But she was quick and agile dodging and weaving through the air. She fought with all her strength, wielding her sword and shield with precision and skill. She knew that this was her moment, her chance to prove herself as a true hero. And in the end, it was her courage and determination that won the day. With one swift blow, Isabella struck the sorcerer down, his power fading into nothingness. As the sorcerer's body dissolved into dust, the enchantment over the castle was lifted. The walls glowed with a soft, warm light, and the gardens bloomed with new life. Isabella felt a sense of peace and joy fill her heart. She had done it. She had broken the curse and saved the enchanted castle. And as she gazed out over the kingdom from the highest tower, she knew that her journey had only just begun. For there were many more adventures to be had, many more battles to be fought, and many more enchanted castles to be saved. And so, Isabella set out once again,
her heart filled with hope and wonder. For in a world of magic and mystery, anything was possible, and anything could happen. <laughs>